Alright, so we have to prove by induction that this matrix here to the power n is going to be equal to this matrix here over on the right hand side. So let's get started, of course, with anything to do with proof by induction. We have to begin with the basis step where we prove that this expression is true for the first few values of n. So here n is uh, an integer, a positive integer. So let's begin with n equals 1. So say for n equals 1, let's see what that is. So 5, uh, negative 8, 2, uh, negative 3. Of course, this to the power 1 is just going to be the same 5 negative 8 2 negative 3 so that's good so this is the, the left hand side that's the left hand side of the expression let's do this for the right hand side so the right hand side for n equals 1 that's going to be uh, 4 times 1 which is a 4 okay plus 1 and then we have 2 times 1 negative 8 times 1 and 1 minus 4 times 1 which is, uh, that's 4 plus 1, 5, negative 8 times 1 is negative 8, 2 times 1 is 2, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, so the right hand side equals the left hand side, so this is true for n equals 1. Now let's go to the induction hypothesis where we uh, choose an arbitrary value of n and we assume that it's uh, going to be true for that value, so uh, let's assume let's assume it's true okay for n equals k so if we assume that it's true for n equals k then we'll have 5 negative 8 uh, 2 and negative 3 to the power k then that should be equal to 4k plus 1, that's a k, okay, then we have negative 8k, 2k, and 1 minus 4k. So, we are assuming it's true for n equals to k, and now the induction step finally, uh, so if we've assumed that it's true for n equals to k, uh, we want to prove that is it true so is it true for n equals k plus 1? So that's the big question we want to, to, to ask ourselves. Is this true for n equals k plus 1? In other words, uh, if we have 5, negative 8, 2, negative 3, is this going to be equal to 4 into k plus 1 minus, uh, sorry, that's uh, negative 8 into k plus 1. Uh, 2 into k plus 1, 1 minus 4 into k plus 1. So the big question is, is this actually, oh, so that's to power k, is this actually equal to this? That's what we actually want to find out, okay? That's k plus 1 because n equals k plus 1. So let me just clear this out and uh, we try to find out if that's true and then we'll be done. Okay, so let's get started. We have this here. We have negative 5, sorry, we have positive 5, negative 8, 2 and negative 3 to the power k plus 1. And of course, this is the same as 5, negative 8, 2, negative 3 to the power k times, of course, this is k and then times 1. So that's 5, uh, negative 8, 2 negative 3, that's the power 1, so if you add up the powers, that's k plus 1. Let's try to expand this a little further, try to express it in a better way. We already know what 5, uh, uh, negative 8, 2, 3 to the power k is, we know what this matrix is from our induction hypothesis, so we have that there, so I'll just write that, uh, 4, k plus 1, negative 8k, 2k, 1 minus 4k, and we'll multiply this by 5, negative 8, 2, negative 3, k. Okay. 
Remember, for matrices, we multiply rows by columns. So I now begin with the first row and the first column. So 4K plus 1 times 5. I'll go 5 into uh, 4K plus 1. Then we have negative 8K times 2. So that's minus 16K. Uh, let's do it for this one here, 2k times 5, so that's 10k plus k, so we have 1 minus 4k times 2, so that's 2 into 1 minus 4k. Let's do it again for this, so 4k plus 1 times negative 8. Alright, negative 8k times negative 3, that's plus 24. Okay, negative 2k times 8, that's negative 16k, plus, uh, so we have negative 3 times this. Alright, let's proceed. I'll expand this now. So that's going to be 5 times 4k, that's 20k. Plus 5 minus 16k. Down here we have 10k plus 2 minus 8k. Here we have negative 32k minus 8 plus 24. Alright, here we have negative 16k. Minus 3 plus 12k. So 20 minus 16, that's 4k. Plus 5. And what's this here? That's negative 32. Uh, I guess it's going to be a 24k somewhere. Let's check that out. So we had... Uh, uh, that's this times this, this times this. Yep, that's 24k. Should have said K there. Okay, nice. Another K here. So, yeah, negative 32 plus 24, that's uh, positive 8K minus 8. Okay, then you'll have 10K minus 8K, which is 2K plus 2. And then finally, negative 16 plus 4, that's negative 4K. Minus 3. So if we try to simplify this, you actually notice that I can write this as, so if you just compare that with this here, I can write that as 4 into k plus 1 plus 1, which is very similar to this here. And I can also write this as negative 8 into k plus 1, which is very similar to this, negative 8 times n. Remember, this is for n equals k plus 1, so it makes sense. And then I can write this as 2 into k plus 1. And finally, I can write this as 1 minus 4 into k plus 1, because that's minus 4k minus 4. Yeah, that makes sense. So you can see that this is actually very similar to this, except that n equals k plus 1. So we can now conclude that since... Since it is true, so just write that here. Since it holds for n equals k plus 1, then, then it holds for all values of n. Hence, this expression is true and we just proved that by induction. So thanks for watching this video. If you find this helpful, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and uh, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.